Why, hello everyone! Are you all ready for Portland Retro Gaming Expo 2024? Wish I could make it this year, but unfortunately I can't. But anyway, I was sent a really cool game from Intellivision Revolution called pac Menthology. It's really awesome. It's a collection of various Pac-Man themed games for the Intellivision, all put together in one game. It's actually kind of cool. Rev sent me this to give it a try to make a video on for the Game Expo because it's going to debut at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So keep an eye out for this game. And uh, let's go ahead and take a, take a closer look at it. Now since I was only sent the ROM, I don't have the manual. So I printed off the manual that came with the ROM. It's really cool looking. I love this artwork on the front. It's pretty cool. So, until this revolution, pac Mythology. Awesome. So it gives a lot of credit to some of the other programmers. So yeah, Pac-Man was programmed by Mike Winans. Pac-Man DX programmed by Michael Hayes. Miss Pac-Man programmed by Carl Mueller Jr. Miss Paku Paku programmed by Brian Puddin of Brian's Man Cave. Pack Line and Junior Pack Line programmed by Chris Reed. Additional music by Ad Adam Toledo. Box design by Steve Jones. Overlays by Phil Borland. Instruction manual by Mark Thompson. And a special thanks to David Harley and the Intellivision television team. Also thanks to Brad, Brad, Brad Dillon, Dale Wolfstein, Christian Martin, John Hirschberger, Casey Nadal, Dana Campion. Hey, look, it's me, Willie. Willie. Luke Bodro, Don Schweitzer, Jay Howlett, and Toru Iwanti. Iwatani. Oh, I'm so bad at pronouncing last names. Anyway. So what does this Pac-Man anthology all include here? So first up we have the original Pac-Man. has a nice little list right here of the games you can select. Then we have Pac-Man DX. Here we have Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Line, incredibly fun game. Miss Paku Paku, with some extra bonus features. And Junior Pac-Line. Great collection. <laughs> what a great collection of games. So let's go ahead and fire this up and uh, give the games go. In television revolution, Pac Manthology. I love this music on this intro screen. It's so cool. It's a nice looking intro screen as well. Anyway, we have a collection of Pac Man themed games on here. We have the original Pac Man from Atari Soft, Pac Man DX, a modified version of Pac Man from Atari Soft by Rev. With some extra features, some, some bug fixes. We have Miss Pac-Man from Carl Mueller Jr. We have Pac-Line. We have Miss Paku Paku from Brian's Man Cave and Junior Pac-Line. What really been cool is if we had Junior Pac-Man on this collection as well as number seven. That would have rounded this cartridge out wonderfully. But what's here is actually really cool. Let's look at Pac-Man from Atari Soft first. Everybody should be familiar with this game. It's Pac-Man, but only on television. Now the maze layout's a little bit different from the arcade, but it's very close. The gameplay is actually very well done. It has some great sound effects. Oh, it's still chopping cherries. Your cherry has been chopped, and I've been chopped. Ugh, rats. Okay. Next game on here. Is Pac-Man DX by Rev. Now this is basically the Atari Soft game, except Rev went in and did a lot of bug fixes and things like that. He made some improvements to the game. Wooka, wooka, wooka. The sound effects are very well done on this game. Oh, she went and chopped the cherry. Oh, I'm after the cherry. 
Oh! I was robbed! No cherry chopping for Willie. Oh, there we go. Look at that cherry. Oh, 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 see if I get all three, all four of them. Whoop. Whoop. Nope. Oh, no. I bit him in the butt. <laughs> awesome. So the next game we will do is Miss Pac-Man. I love Miss Pac-Man on the television from Carl Mueller Jr. Mainly what I like about it is all the different options he has in this game. Play as Miss Pac or Pac-Man or Junior Pac-Man. It's like what mode do you play? Normal or hard? Number of uh, Pac-Men or Pac-Ladies you, you have? Bonus level? The speed? You can turn on the super fast speed? Number of ghosts? Rules? Miss Pac-Man or Pac-Man? And the mazes? Arcade? Extra? Wide? Strange maze? Or random mazes? Pretty awesome. So we're going to give the game a try here. I play this game quite a bit. I, I purchased the ROM from Carl Mueller Jr. some time ago when he had him for sale. And I played Living Daylights out of this game. I did a video on it as well. Where I go in more detail of all the different options and show the different gameplay modes and stuff. This is a very well done game. Those sound effects are great. And the wailing siren. Oh, there's the cherries. Maze 1 complete. Awesome. Alrighty. Next up we have Pack Line. A very simple Pac-Man type game. Basically you're eating dots, avoiding the one ghost in this hallway. And you have a power pelt you get as well. You want to see how high of a score you get before the ghost actually catches you. And jump. Oh, 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 there we go. Got him again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot, I ate the dot, but he was not turned yet. The ghost has not turned. Oh, oh, there we go. Arf. Oh, shoot, I did it again. You see, the ghost is getting faster and faster. This is such a great game. A lot of fun. Very simple to play, but extremely fun. Let's go to the next game on here. Miss Paku Paku from Brian's Man Cave. I like this little intro screen he does. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Sue. Now we can play like pack line mode, which is single line, or we can do the powered up version that Brian did, multi line. This is cool. It start off. It starts off like pack line. Now there's an added feature in this game where you can spell out the word bonus. If you, if you spell out the word bonus, you get uh, bonus points. There's an O. But if you chop the ghosts, your bonus goes away. Oh, there's a U. Let's go down here. This is what I like about this game: the multi lines. Come on, give me a U, man. There's a U. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah. Well, it got to you. I see the S. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got it. That's awesome. Now we got three lines. I like how he takes, you know, classic games and adds extra features to them. That is so cool. This is a very enjoyable game. A lot of fun to play. I like the facial expression of the ghost. He's got like a... One of those... Uh, kind of looks on him. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's try the last game. Boop. Which is Junior Pack Line. This has some cool music. It's so cheerful. Little Pac Man eating dots. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go. Quit messing around. Now, unlike Pac Line and Miss Pac and Miss Pac Paku Paku, this one you're just going along this corridor trying to collect the cherries and the dots. See how high of a score you get. You only get one life. Oh! Yeah, 107. <laughs> Willie's so bad at this game. Let's try it again. Yeah, I'm concentrating. <laughs> it's like it got quiet. Willie's concentrating. Hey, at least I beat my high score. That's something. I like the little hat on the little Pac-Man dude. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> what a cool game. Anyway. That's Pac-Man Thology. An incredible collection of Pac-Man themed games for the Intellivision. Be sure to check it out when you're at the Polar Retro Gaming Expo 2024. It's actually a lot of fun. I like to get a box version of this with a cartridge and the overlay and everything. Might have to get one. Anyway, as always everyone, thanks for watching.